it just all comes down to the fact that we're continuously living in, in the future. We're always thinking about what I'm going to do in the future. You know, if I just reach this, I'm going to be happy. If I just do, you know, if I get my two kids and my white ticket fence and my car and my Tesla, then I'm going to be happy. And it's like, that doesn't exist. The only thing that's real is like this current moment, this hour, this day. Everything else is just like this, this speculation, this illusion. And it never comes. That feeling never comes. And you're talking about the vaccine. I feel like people are starting to really assign um, things to this vaccine that have nothing to do with just solving COVID. People are, people are now looking at the vaccine like it's going to fix them. It's going to fix their life again. No, the vaccine is going gonna, is gonna to yeah. take care of the COVID part. Mm -hmm. Everything else, <laughs> you still got to take care of yourself. Like, newsflash, the vaccine is not going to make you a better person. It's not going to make you lose weight. It's not going to make you more successful. It's not going to make you better with the ladies. It's not going to get you that promotion that you wanted. Like, you still have to, like... This vaccine has become this thing, you know, where it's like people are mm -hmm. waiting on it like, oh, and then I can, then I can, yeah. I can go back to my normal life. Dave Chappelle um, spoke about that the other day. He was like, people keep talking about, you know, going back to normal and, and, and you know, once the vaccine hits, he's like, have we forgotten how shitty things were before Corona? Have we forgotten? Like, he was like, the, the world was messed up the way before Corona. Yeah, it's interesting. Maybe we'll appreciate the world more where after Corona and especially social contacts, I think. At least I would. Mm. I mean, I, that's something I've, I've learned that, yeah, social contacts are really important. And just to go out for a drink on a Saturday night <sighs> is super important, man. And it's, it's yeah, you appreciate, you appreciate it so much more now. And, well, yeah. I th do think in some ways the coronavirus will have a beneficial effect on the world and how we view the world and how we behave ourselves. And it's not everything will be bad after it, but yeah, the, the, the economic crisis after it, it's, I think it will, yeah, yeah, it will be huge. Yeah, it's it's gonna be super interesting. And and then we are living, we're living in the future, man. Like we're gonna look back on these times. We're gonna mm. talk about our talk about this pandemic to our grandkids, like, man, it was biblical, like, everyone had to stay inside, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna, it's, it's gonna be, and a part of me is, is kind of, like, grateful that I'm able to, to live through all of these things, and, and witness it, and learn from it, because it's, it's happening, man, right now, like, Maybe one day people will, will go back to this podcast decades from now to try and figure out what, what the mindset was like of the average Belgian male in, mm -hmm. during, the, during the lockdown, you know? We're, we're yeah. just like, and it's important that we have these conversations and that we, and that we document it. Yeah, yeah, because maybe we're ushering into a new era where these kind of pandemics are more custom. Because mm. you know, also because of climate change and the, the permafrost that uh, is uh, melting, there are lots of bacteria that shouldn't be in the atmosphere that may come out, and we'll see if that happens. That if that occurs, maybe this this uh, pandemic that we had in front of it is, is, is will be our yeah safe heaven because now we know how to to create a vaccine mm. and to to treat these yeah uh, super uh, bad viruses. So we'll see how, how that goes because that's still a huge thing that will happen in the next 10 years. So how, how will the, 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 the climate change uh, evolve? Do you need help making better decisions in your life? Are you lacking self-confidence and motivation to get things done? Hire me today and get a direct daily line of communication with me through video chat and audio messages. I operate on a week-to-week -week basis so no long-term investment is required. Seven straight days of Viking advice will get you right on track. Email me at lorenz.dries at gmail.com and change your reality. I'm ready whenever you are. See you soon.